Farrah Fawcett's son reveals her final moments before ending. Farrah Fawcett, the iconic on-screen goddess famous for her signature gold tresses and beauty, died at age 62. Before her demise, she enjoyed the company of her friends and family, including her only child, who visited her in a jail issued outfit. As a young woman, Farrah Fawcett intended to pursue an entertainment career, which she did tenaciously. First, by appearing on TV commercials, showcasing her charming appearance, including her sparkling smile. Soon enough, the big guys of the industry noticed the enchanting beauty, and that was when she bagged her career defining role in Charlie's Angels. She racked up more film credits to her name and became a staple in the industry. Fawcett's sound delivery and captivating performances brought her fame and due recognition from fans and colleagues. She had over six Golden Globes Awards nominations and a few other primetime Emmy nominations during her lifetime. During her time on the world stage, she was a lover to her longtime partner, Ryan O'Neill, a mother to their only son, Redmond O'Neill, and a friend to some notable people in the industry. Unfortunately, the icon's life was cut short following a battle with cancer. She was diagnosed with anal cancer in 2006 and did not live with it for more than two years. Fawcett passed away at age 62, but she was lucky to have those with whom she loved by her side. Shortly before the incident, Redmond, who was serving jail time, showed up at the hospital. This meeting was the last between mother and son, and as he bade her his final farewell, the young man felt sober, with the conviction that he might never see her again. Who was Farrah Fawcett's son? Redmond Fawcett O'Neill is the only child between the longtime lovers, actor Ryan, and his famous, beloved girlfriend, Fawcett, whom he got engaged to a few days before her death. Their son had a promising future in the entertainment industry. During his younger years, he worked as a voiceover actor on The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars, Johnny Bravo, and Love Don't Cost a Thing. But most of his later years have been plagued with drug issues, from consumption to violation and possession. It has hampered his growth and made it hard for Redmond to carry on his mother's legacy. In the same year his mother died at the beginning of April, Redmond was whisked off to jail because he violated drug-related probation. He was scheduled to appear in court for a final verdict, he kept all of this away from Fawcett, whose health declined rapidly. Redmond O'Neill's farewell, the mother and son's reconnection was chronicled in an NBC documentary showing how the one-time beautiful actress looked following her cancer diagnosis. Redmond appeared in a jail issue jumpsuit and bound hands. He climbed into his dying mother's bed and was seen sobbing at her frail state while he repeated the words, Oh my gosh! Fawcett's love for her only child, Fawcett was very close to her only son, who also reciprocated the love to his mother. Even with Redmond's prodigal behavior, the mother of one still held him, dear, to her heart. After her demise, the contents of her will showed that Redmond was left to possess her fortune. She awarded him the most cash than anybody else in the document. He was to receive $4.5 million. Her other benefactors include her brother, James Fawcett, and his son Gregory Walls, who were given $500,000 each, and Gregory Lawrence Lott, a former flame. Was Redmond's dad the bigger influence? Before meeting Farrah Fawcett, Ryan O'Neill had divorced two times, and he fathered four children. His love story with Fawcett began while the actress was still married to her husband, Lee Majors. Their relationship seemed perfect from the start. But eventually, it suffered many imperfections, from drug use to infidelity, all of which culminated in the lovers going their separate ways in 1998. However, the former couple only separated to unlearn and learn new ways to improve their relationship. By 2001, they reunited, following Ryan's leukemia diagnosis. His lover showed him love and stood by him. They remained together until Fawcett's death, but while both parties fixed some things in the past, some details could not welcome a change in improvement. Griffin, one of Ryan's sons, made some shocking revelations about his father on CNN's Larry King Live. He explained that his dad was to blame for some of the family's problems, like his half-brother's drug problems. Griffin said that Ryan often provided Redmond with enough cash for drug supplies. He added that the duo shared an inseparable bond, but for the worst reasons. 
Griffin also describes Ryan as a faithless man who did not love Fawcett as much as he claimed. He talked about their early love life and how he was caught cheating with different women. Years after his mother's demise, in recent years, Redmond has continued to remain relevant, but for the wrong reasons. In 2018, he was caught after a successful attempt to rob a convenience store. The young lad entered a store around Santa Monica and threatened the clerk with a knife while demanding money. He got out but was arrested nearby with the weapon. Redmond was charged with six counts relating to drug possession and alleged robbery. He was also accused of attempted murder, two counts of assault, one count of battery, and one count of brandishing a weapon. Following his proposed appearance in court, the commissioner ruled him incompetent to face trial. He was moved to a mental institution for treatment, where he remains until he is deemed competent to understand the gravity of his offenses, if not, the court will reconsider his status.